What was your favorite build of 2019 and why? My favorite build was Soho. Why? Because it was my first challenge here in ECD doing upholstery, you know, lining up that red leather line right down the middle, the honeycomb stitching looking straight. It was a, it was a lot of combination of leathers and suede. Uh, it, it was a hard, hard job for me, and, uh, but we got it. We got it and I loved it. I really love that truck. Um, so that's a nice uh, color. Uh, the premium package uh, on the truck, the seats, interiors, everything. It would be Project Soho, and I think it's just because it's something completely different color-wise and everything else that we've done. So it's definitely a unique one-of-one. -one. My favorite project would be Project Viking, because I had to make it in 3D, and because I went two weeks with it making it literally piece by piece, so yeah, that would be my favorite. Project Viking, big tires, tall, badass looking truck. Um, have to be Project Biking. It's like, oh, I'm here in your face, big tires, lifted, a lot of power. Biking, because it's the one that stands out. That's the, that's the type of truck that if you're in the highway, you want to go faster to see what it is. Uh, I'd probably say Project Viking, uh, just because it had the 37-inch Maxxis tires. Um, we had to do a lot of modifications to the wheel arches, and it was just a cool challenge. Uh, Project Viking, because it's badass and it's like a mini monster truck. My favorite build of 2019 was Project Invictus. The reason I liked that car was because it's complete overlander, nothing like we've built before, and it's a true one-off vehicle. You can go basically anywhere with it, and it's not something you see on the road every day. It is Project Invictus because it's set up for overland use and to be used for what a Defender is really meant to be. Project Invictus. The complexity of the electrical system. You know, in the safari, I like the color, I like the way they look. The, the interior, the color of the interior, the dash, and, and the green color outside. That's my favorite color, man. New England Safari, the color of the paint and the way it was set up with the roll cages and the soft top. New England Safari, I love the color and I love the deer skin that went into it, really nice. Uh, project vacation, family vacation, Christmas vacation, because um, it's short and stocky and a bruiser. Uh, I think my favorite truck of the year was uh, the family edition. It was different. You can have two sets of doors. You have no doors or you can have half doors. And, uh, it's just a nice truck in general. So I'd say my favorite build would be our first series truck. It was a pretty unique vehicle. But on that, this truck here will be right on the tail end. It could be a much more interesting truck than that one was. The series truck because it's different, because it's old with new, because I mean it's the best looking truck. Huh? I like Project Harmony, yeah, because I like the antique cars. That one come out nice. Al Alpinis. Why? Why? This is nitro. Project Camper. For me, that one was the epitome of what this company can do for luxury. My favorite build of 2019 was Project Peacemaker. Um, the thing I liked about Project Peacemaker is how many unique elements um, were in the vehicle, specifically the storage um, that was all over the vehicle. For me, it'll have to be Project Maui. Uh, I think just the looks of that car are amazing. Uh, you have this dark gray with the black and uh, tan tones inside. Uh, the RC, the white one. I like that one, that is pretty, uh, the suspension, all that, it's nice. It's a 90, I think the name is a Wolverine project, so um, I like uh, this one because it's, uh, it's a simple one, simple truck, and uh, well, it got panoramic um, windows, and the materials are really good, so I believe that that's my favorite right now. Alright, so what was your favorite project 2019 and why? Uh, my favorite project in 2019 was Project Sterling. Um, why it was my favorite was because it surprised me because uh, when I saw the mood board, I thought it was a cool truck. When I saw the finished truck, I thought it was an incredible truck and it really caught my eye when it moved off the line. I think it was a great example of ECD customization while retaining the character of the vehicle. So the classic dash with the modern exterior look and the modern performance just made it an all-round perfect ECD truck.